What's going on guys? It's your boy Bolt Ratty here and uh, today I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, basically, I am sorry I haven't brought you a tutorial for over a month. Uh, it's that I couldn't think of any Sony Vegas tutorials to do so I'm bringing you After Effects tutorials until I can think of some good Sony Vegas tutorials to do. So basically today what we're going to be creating is this where you see the little thing screen come in and then it twitches over like this. So basically what you're going to do is go ahead and find two clips. So I'm going to be using this clip and this clip right here. And so basically what you want to do is go ahead and import both of the clips. So go ahead and put this right here. Make sure this one goes to the end. <laughs> Excuse me. So about right there should work. And you want to go to the first frame on this clip. So we'll go back. Oops, no, go back to the first frame. What you want to do is you want to make this smaller. So make sure on the clip, the clip that you want it to transition into, click the bottom corner, hold shift, and drag in. So about that size would do. Put it about right here, I guess. Alright. So that looks good. So, what you want to do now is import the little edge. I'll put that in the description below. So, what you want to do is do the same thing click on this, hold shift, and drag it in. So, it looks about do the same thing, control C, control D, hit R, make this one oops, 180, and about the other side. <coughs> and then you want to hit control C, control D, R, oops, R make this negative 90 and then put this one down here with the others. So these look about right. Alright, so what you want to do now is you can close these up. On these, you can just go ahead and make these one composition by going to layer pre-compose. What you want to do now is you want to make this layer off. You want to go ahead and start masking. So you want to do this really nice if you're whoops, if you're doing it for a montage or episode or something like that. So you just want to go ahead and mask it really nice. Remember, guys, this is a tutorial, so I'm not going to go full into depth on masking on this. Do the best you can for it. So, uh, and then, if you have a moving object like I do, you want to start keyframing. You need a keyframe the mask. So, you might have to mask it a couple times. But this could take a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video until I'm done masking. Alright guys, I'm done masking right now, so um, also I need to note something, my first clip is Twixtered, so to do have an effective you need a slow motion clip or a Twixtered clip, <clears throat> so that'll work best. So what you want to do is go over here, 
make this visible and you can take the mask off and as you see right here it's masked to it which you don't want so you want to hit M on your keyboard and click on invert it so then right there you have a nice you have a nice little uh, effect going on and so what you want to do for this is you want to go ahead and add an effect to it so we're going to transition we'll do linear wipe So what you're trying to do, we'll see with the feather. You want to make sure the feather looks nice. So, Alright, that feather looks pretty good. So what you're trying to do here is go ahead and find a good spot that you want to that you want your thing to come in on. So we'll do whoops. We'll go about Right there would seem fine. Oops. And so what you want to do? What's going on? Right there. So what you're gonna do is keyframe it at 100, and then you want to go to where you want it to stop. So we'll go about the end, and you want to hit click to zero. So then, if you play it through, it'll come in really nice. It looks like it goes a little too uh, fast. So what you want to do is you want to go down here, drag this out. And then it'll come in slowly, really nice. So what you're going to do is, this is how I do it, so please don't judge on how you do it. So you want to go to the end of this clip right here, and you want to drag this down for the render cube, because I don't want to render out this 10 second clip when it's not fully 10 seconds. So composition add to render cube. Uh, I think I named it uh, 25. And then you want to render. I'm going to pause the video until this is done rendering, and I'll show you guys how to do the transition. Alright guys, so uh, it's done rendering, so what we're going to do is go ahead and import it. Uh, what did I name this? 25. There we go. 25. So what you're going to do is import it in here. So I'll move this over. Properties, disable resample. Let's see where it syncs up with. Alright, so right here. So what we're going to do now is do the twitch. So we can go ahead and do this. So what we're going to do is render this out. Actually, we don't even have to render it out. It's already rendered out. We'll have to render this clip out, though. File, render as name it what you want, render it out, then you're going to go into Adobe, whoops, not a new folder, you want to go to new project, import your clips, uh, I believe this is it, yep, this one is it, so, sorry, my bad, you want to import your clips, we had 27, and we had 25 right those up, new composition, I want to import these clips in here, I'm going to move this one over to the end, so same thing as we did before, but this time you want to make it go to about right here, <clears throat> and so what you want to do is go ahead and layer new adjustment layer, effect, video copilot, twitch, and then right now what we're going to do is the transition, so I have a preset, I'm going to use, let's see, I think it's side swipe, yep, side swipe. So as you see right here on this preset, I can give you these settings, 
here in, uh, you can pause the video and look at it, but I have color and light and slide enabled. And the settings for these are color right here, color mop 50%, color twitch 1, colorize is zero, uh, orange, color randomize 0, light amount 125, light twitches 6.60. My slide is 50 for the amount, twitches is 1. Slide direction is 90, slide spread 0, slide tendency 0, slide RGB split is 21%, slide motion blur is 100%. So that's basically what it is for the settings. The amount's 100 and speed is 100. And 10, I mean. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to make keyframes. You have to have common knowledge of Twitch and keyframes to do this effect, so. And as you see right here, it's like twitching, oops, twitching throughout the video, which I don't really want. So what I'm gonna do is change this down to zero. As you see, as I go up, it twitches. I don't want that either. So I'm gonna drag this one to about right here. And I'm gonna go back a few frames, and I'm gonna change this to zero. So when it goes like this, see it twitches and you just want to mess around with these to get the perfect point that you want All right, so that's about good so that's basically what you do for the transition and what you want to do is do the same thing for your rendering go right here Sorry this tutorial took so long, it's that um it's a lot of work to go through this whole thing, so thanks for being patient guys and basically what you do is you I can play the video right after so I'm gonna pause this. Alright guys, so uh, what you wanna do is go ahead and import your clip that you just rendered out, minus twenty-eight. And so you wanna find the spot where you rendered it out. You want to just put it in there, and then as you see it, nice transition. And also, what you can do is add a Twitch sound effect. I'll put this in the description as well. It's really nice to. Uh, bring out the transition so you just want to go ahead and find where it first starts so about right here you want to lower the audio on it because it's a little bit loud that's about it Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, look for more tutorials in the future. Thanks, guys.